uh, people ask recommendations about hiring remediators. And I have used a couple. I've been involved on projects where several were used. Um, and this is my, the reason I don't recommend them generally. Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl Seco and I am on location at a campsite in Wyoming and we've been, my husband and I have been on the road for over a week now and I do have cell service today which is the first time, actually the past two days since we've been, um, we've had cell service. So I want to let people know about, uh, people ask recommendations about hiring remediators and I have used a couple, I've been involved on projects where several were used. Um, and this is my, the reason I don't recommend them generally is because I have recommended people in the past and then they often have different crews that show up. And when somebody did good work for me, they didn't do good work for someone else. And part of that is maybe because I'm paying attention really closely and they want to do what I ask them to do to be recommended. But then when someone else hires them, it might be a different crew shows up and they're not as conscientious. And so I get really cautious. So I recommended people in the past and then people that hired them had a bad experience and then I felt bad that I recommended them. And you know, so I just, that's why I try not to do it too much. There's definitely some people I don't recommend. So, um, but finding the cause, finding the root cause of moisture in your building is the ultimate goal. Just cleaning, so remediators clean. Don't expect them to be your ex inspection expert. They usually don't want to have anything to do with that. And they definitely aren't going to be able to remove anything that is structural. They're, they're really cleaning, um, but it's part of a team. So you think I, when you're doing a remediation project, you need to know um, who to hire that's going to help you diagnose what the problem is so you can get to the root cause and fix the root cause. And then really what is the fix going to be? And that's often a building professional and that's something that I do as a licensed architect. Um, so because I build buildings, I have basically x-ray eyes, I know how they're put together and I've also has a, a strong background having worked for the wood industry, um, promoting commercial buildings to my peers and doing technical support for my peers, architects and engineers and code officials, that I know the mistakes that people are making the very common mistakes, even really good builders make some of these mistakes. And that's what causes some of the water damage that we have. Actually, a lot of it is, is mistakes. And, and I help people find those and fix those. And some of them aren't that expensive. Some of them are expensive. So, but getting it to the root cause and fixing it once and for all and stopping the water is really where you're gonna not be able to be, then have the cleaning done, the remediation done and move on with your life. So check out my Facebook page, uh, Cheryl Seco Architect, for a lot of tips there. And if you are looking for a recommendation, reach out and I'll let you know what I know for the area that you're in. So more and more I am trying to connect people to the good people that are listening to my message and, and, and in, in synergy with my message about causes and, and anxious to learn. People who know everything are probably not the right choice because this is a, a very changing feel that it's really hard to stay on top of. So that's my tips on, on hiring remediation. There are some agencies, um, IICRC does some certification, but just know that there's good and bad people even that have those certifications. It's sometimes, you know, it's a certification you pay for. There's no government regulations in most states. The few states that there are, they're, they're better than nothing. I'll give them that. Uh, but you still have to be very um, aware and it's important to be an informed client. So my tips for the day on remediation, I hope this helps. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold, and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.